Hey Dynamos, it's me, Miss Stratus, back to read you another Dynamo adventure because we're going to be writing our own Dynamo adventures and you guys need to be paying attention for things you like so you have ideas for your own Dynamo adventure. Today I'm going to read you The Dynamos and the Great Space Race, written and illustrated by Miss Stratus. Dedicated to the dynamos of 2008 to 9. That's a long time ago. One day in March, the dynamos were looking through Miss Drass's telescope. Jackie saw Polaris and the Big Dipper. Maya saw Venus. Miss Drass saw Orion the Hunter. When Connor looked through the telescope, he saw a strange thing. in the world is that? Connor yelled. He showed us a small purple dot in the sky. We were not sure what it was. It might be a star, said Amber. It might be a planet, said Brendan. I've never seen it before, said Lauren. Suddenly, Dev and Jay had an idea. I know, she yelled. We should go to space to explore it. If we have discovered something new and amazing, we could become rich. Everyone wanted to be rich and famous too, so we decided to go to space. We all went to the Golden Corral to make our plans for our mission to explore the small people purple thing we had seen. While we were there, we ate lunch. Miss Drass had three plates of macaroni and cheese. Everyone else ate desserts. Can I bring you some more plates? I love Golden Corral. Mmm, ice cream. Miss Drass, that's your fourth plate. We kept very quiet while we made the plans for our space mission because we didn't want anyone to hear our plans and get to space before we did. First, we planned how and where we would build our rocket. Then we planned how we would get to the small purple object we had seen in space. Last, we made a list of all the supplies we would need. Finally, the plans were finished and we were ready to get started. We hurried out the door. But we never saw Mr. Owen pop up from behind our table. Ah ha ha ha! He had been listening the whole time. Mr. Owen rubbed his hands together and laughed an evil laugh. I will steal their plans, build a better, faster rocket, and get to space first, he said. Connor drove the dynamos over to Walmart in the bus. Miss Drass read the list of supplies. Everyone split up and got carts so they could help with the shopping. Grace, Elle, and Maya took their carts down the soda aisle to buy all the soda they could find. Grace, R, and Najee were busy in the candy aisle. They stole Juliana's cart from the water section and filled that with candy, too. Do you think Juliana is wondering where her cart is? Nope. We're done! Yeah! Meanwhile, Connor and Chelsea were in the toy department. They filled their cart with pogo sticks and nerf guns and arrows. Once everyone had filled their carts, we all met in the food section. We bought lots of hot dogs for Grace R and chips for Ricardo. Next, we bought 44 tubs of ice cream. Devin J added sprinkles and chocolate syrup to the cart. Connor secretly added whipped cream. After that, we brought do bought donuts for Connor and mashed potatoes for Lauren and the grass. On the way to the checkout, Rachel saw something on the ground. It was Mr. Owen's credit card. Hey, look what I found! What was he doing at Walmart? Jackie asked suspiciously. After a quick meeting, the dynamos added spy gear to the list. We found coats, sunglasses, walkie-talkies, notebooks, and other spy gadgets that would help us keep an eye on Mr. Owen. 
We added them to our cart. Our bill was $5,000. Check or credit card? Credit card! We charged it to Mr. Owen's credit card. We loaded up the bus and drove to Najee's house to build our rocket. All of a sudden, something dressed in all black ran into the yard and grabbed the plans. Amber and Jackie jumped onto four-wheelers and chased the person out of the neighborhood. About an hour later, the rocket was finished. Just as we finished loading it up, Amber and Jackie rode into the yard. We didn't get the plans back, but we know who took them, said Amber. It was Mr. Owen, said Jackie. I knew he was up to no good, said Maya. Just then, we heard a noise and saw a rocket blast into the sky. It's Mr. Owen, yelled Ch Chelsea. He's going to make it to space and explore the purple object first, said Lauren. Not on your life, said Miss Strass. Everybody into the rocket. The space race is on. I gotta itch my nose. <laughs> we all got into the rocket and buckled our safety harnesses. Connor sat down in the pilot seat and buckled his harness. Everybody ready, he yelled. Ready, everyone answered. Nice area. Fuel the rocket, yelled Connor. Nizeria took a bottle of Mountain Dew, shook it up, and dumped it into the gas tank. Start the countdown, yelled Connor. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, screamed the dynamos. Connor pushed the ignition button and the rocket blasted up into the air. Woohoo! After four minutes and 37 bottles of soda, we were in the atmosphere. We all took up our harnesses and floated around the rocket. Sweet! Watch this. I love space. Next, we played floating tag. Everyone kept tagging Connor because he was still strapped in his seat driving. All of a sudden, Nina saw something. Look, she yelled, it's Mr. Owen's rocket. We looked out the window and saw Mr. Owen's rocket floating ahead of us. It didn't look like it was moving very fast. We stopped to take a look. The rocket was empty and Mr. Owen was gone. We looked all over the rocket for clues. Finally, Rachel found a piece of paper. It was a speeding ticket from the space cops. They must have arrested Mr. Owen, said Nikki. Do you think they took him to jail? We all, they must have, uh, we all got arrested into our rocket and waited behind Mr. Owen's rocket. After a few minutes, a speeding rocket went by us. This is a speeding ticket for driving 80,000 miles in the 70,000 mile per hour zone. As soon as the speeding rocket flew by, we heard sirens. The space cops, cops flew up behind the rocket and pulled it over. After a few minutes, the cops' rocket flew off in another direction. Connor turned the rocket around and secretly followed the space cops to the jail. When we got to the jail, we parked our rocket behind a wall. Devin C. passed out the spy gear and walkie-talkies. Ricardo passed out the Nerf guns. We all split up and snuck into the jail to find Mr. Owen. It didn't take long to find Mr. Owen. He was locked up in a big cell on the second floor. Ricardo, Malaya, Grace R., and Brendan distracted the guards by bouncing up and down the hallways on pogo sticks. The rest of us busted out Mr. Owen. You saved me! Only three sticks left. Come on, let's go! After a serious Nerf arrow and whipped cream battle with the space cops, the victorious dynamos, plus Mr. Owen, climbed back into the rocket. 
How can I ever thank you guys for rescuing me? asked Mr. Owen. We have a few ideas about that, said Jalen. You're our new in-flight slave. We've always wanted our own slave. No! Here's your to-do list. Now get to work. Connor drove the rocket toward the small purple object like a wild maniac. Here's Connor driving crazy. Ah! Mr. Owen was kept very busy serving us snacks and doing everything we told him to. I want candy! Where's my drink? Hurry up! After 30 hours, we reached the small purple object. It was a new planet, and it was covered in Legos. This is a whipped cream fight. Get Mr. Owen! Yeah! While our in-flight slave loaded up all the Legos, we bounced on our pogo sticks. The zero gravity made us go so high. Then Miss Drafts took a picture of the newly discovered planet. We're going to be rich, shouted Brendan. Yeah, screamed the dynamos. Work faster, Mr. Owen. And that's the end. All right, be thinking about what kind of things from that book you might want to put in your dynamo adventure. See you later.